All right, I decided to do a video to show you guys how to do this uh, torch holder mod on your Anilis. Because I'm sure you guys are not, whoever has it is not going to like this thing, which is what comes on it. So this part sits behind the, uh, the case. The brass looking part is all that sticks out. And this uh, wing, uh, this, um, this wing screw, whatever the heck you call it, is all that hold, holds the torch the way it comes from a Neely's. As you can see with what it comes, you have no in and out adjustment. All you can do is tilt and you need to use the bend in the torch to, you know, get it closer and away from the case neck, which is not a very efficient design. But for 275, you know, I'm not really complaining. There is something you can do about it and it's this mod. So to get all the parts you'll need, pretty much, I figured I'd take a video of my receipt. Total was nine dollars and something cents. I cut out the bottom so my credit card info isn't on there, but this is everything you're gonna need. Not very expensive. And this is from Home Depot. Alright. This turnbuckle is this one. One side comes with a hook, the other side a loop. The side with the loop is actually has a reverse thread on there, left hand thread. Lefty tidy, righty loosey. Uh, that's you're not gonna need. That's trash. The side with the hook is the side I modified, cut shorter, and I'm using to hold the torch. That one has normal right hand threads. Oops, sorry, wasn't in the frame. So that's what I'm using. The loop side is garbage. Okay. Um, so this is the side, the side that's unused has the reverse left hand threads on there. The other side has right hand threads. So you're gonna need a turnbuckle. You are going to need two quarter by 20 wing nuts. Now it doesn't have to be stainless. The price difference was, wasn't dramatic, so I got stainless. I mean, I like that. Um, you're gonna need some washers. Again, they're on the receipt, which washers I got. Um, let me just put that in the frame one more time. Uh, you're gonna need some washers. You're gonna need one washer here, one washer on the other side, which I'll show in a minute, and one washer right over here on this wing nut. So let me take this apart and explain how it attaches to the machine. So on the back, you see there's a wing nut. So if I need to adjust the torch up and down I just do it with the wing nut no tools I didn't want to have tools so this is what I did let me put the phone down so I can uh, remove this and show you guys what I did okay so what I did here is I bought a <clears throat> stainless steel bolt which again is on the receipt uh, for a part number if you want an exact part number. I bought a stainless steel bolt and look, and it had a head like that on there. AUD, that's the part number at Home Depot. I cut off the head and using red permanent Loctite, I put it almost, almost level with this end right here. So put it in there, put red Loctite, it's permanently locked into place. Also on this one, I found a washer. The, the hole on this washer was a little too small. I had to drill it out. I wanted it to be really tight against the bolt. So again, don't forget, this is a reverse thread. One of these sides is not gonna be usable. Only one side's gonna have a normal right hand thread. So put a washer on there. The washer on it, but it through the hole. It's really hard doing this while I'm trying to record video. On the other side, we're going to use another washer and a wing nut. Okay, so really simple. A bolt with the head cut off goes in on this side with one washer. 
on the other side another washer and a wing nut right there so you can have adjustability without having to use any tools the original torch holder you had to break out a half inch wrench every time you wanted to adjust it you know like this uh, you could use this to kind of tilt it in there but again this gave very very crappy adjustment especially if you're going to be annealing different si uh, lengths of uh, cases I mean this, is, this would have been a nightmare so trash no nope, missed the trash can um, as for the as for this little guy that holds the torch um, it's the hook part that comes with the turnbuckle one side is a loop the other side is a hook uh, I had to bend it and you're gonna have to play with this part I don't want to take it off right now but um, you have to kind of just mess with how it's bent maybe trim this end of it a little bit with a dremel um, this the threaded part was uh, way too long I think I cut off about an inch of that again something you can play with and just one one wing nut one washer here so Undoing this allows you to move your torch in and out, and obviously you have this motion here. So with this, you can move it out far enough to be able to do your 338 Lapua's, Win Mags, and Ultra Mags. Because if you look at it from here, okay, so these are your rollers that your cases are rolling on. You know, this needs to be able to come out, not point out at an angle, you know, you don't want your flame to be diagonal. You want it to point, hit the middle of the neck or slightly closer to the shoulder, but mostly on the neck. So this, this guy, I mean, they do have longer versions of this if you're mainly going to be reloading um, magnum calibers. They do have these turnbuckles that are longer. I don't load, you know, Lapua or 50 BMG or any you know, of those, you know, really large calibers. So this particular size was perfect for me. And in case anybody's wondering, I estimate you can fit probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe 75 to 100 308 size cases in this hopper. It does hold quite a bit. I mean, you can even kind of stack it up in like a little pyramid shape up here. Um, but yeah, that's about it. You got your speed control right here. On and off switch. Pretty basic machine. Um... For those of you that want to do the larger calibers, um, they do sell thicker rollers, these wheels. Um, that's what's going to be needed. If you were to use, try to use these rollers, your case would be front heavy and it would just fall off. So you need much thicker rollers, which they offer, uh, to kind of you know hold your uh, cases in place. And the bottom roller, I'm not sure I showed that in the other video, but the bottom roller is coated in this... Um, rubbery kind of uh, I don't know if it's a paint or whatnot but it's really rubbery this is what causes your case to spin while it's being anne uh, annealed right here the top roller is not because it needs to slip on the cases that are sitting in the hopper but the bottom one is coated with something which seems pretty uh, pretty durable you can't really scrape it off with your nail but uh, that's what causes your cases to spin all right that's about it